Hello everyone. Welcome to part two of the COSO 2013 framework. In this session, we actually cover how to map the framework and we've created a template so that it becomes easier for all of us to do it. Now, in order for a company to confirm that it's met the 17 principles and the five components that are present and functioning, these principles have to be mapped to the relevant SOX key controls that are operating effectively. And what we've done is we've created the template to match each of these controls to the components, and the template clearly shows how uh, to see the gaps if they exist. And that's what we're going to show you is the secret to, to that. Now, here's an example, the layout of our template. So we first start out to have components. So you see on the left-hand side, there are components, there are principles, there are points of focus, and a summary count row that calculates the number of the controls that were identified as it was mapped to a point of focus or to a principle once the mapping is filled out. And you can see in this, it's an Excel file that we've built, and it's the control environment. You can see here it's in blue just because we can then visually break it up. And control environment is the first component, principle one is right beneath it, and then within principle one, there are four areas of focus, and you'll see control environment and principle two to the right-hand side. And we repeat this process for the risk assessment component. And so in this case, we've just color coded it a different color so that visually we can see because it's a long spreadsheet. Now you can see, now one of the questions people often ask is, is how do we get this information to build the template? Well, COSO 2013 is widely available. It's free. It's just search on the web for COSO 2013 framework and, you, and you'll get a copy of it. The hard work or the time consuming part was creating, laying out the template so that it can be used effectively and so that auditors can rely on it and you can show your work. So here's an example continuing on with the control activities. What we did was we took the framework, we took the principles and outlined it. We then also typed in the points of focus and we typed in the details to the points of focus. And now you can see for information and communication component, we've done that. And we've done the same thing for monitoring activities. So then you see all 17 principles are mapped and they, they map to a particular component from 1 to 17. And you'll notice then that each principle generally has four to six points of focus that are important to the characteristics. And we as users can then read them and you can see we've also added details so that you can see here's an example of principle one where the organization demonstrates a commitment to integrity and ethical values and then the points of focus there are four points of focus and you can see on the screen and sets the tone at the top these are these are texts that we got directly from the uh, framework itself, we might have had to shorten certain things just to fit into Excel and to have it available. But now you can see the thought process behind it. And then what we've done is we've added the summary descriptions of the points of focus so that any user can read it and say, what does it mean? What does what are what are these big words intended to mean? And once you've laid out this particular template, it can then be reused multiple times and we've done this for all of our SOX clients and it's worked out really well because the auditors are able to quickly glance at it and see that you've done the process. And that's it for part two.